Man, so tired. Uh, there we go. How long was I in there for? I felt like days. Uh, got some watermelons. I just want to go to sleep. Well, we better get them. So that way more can grow. Take a nap in a moment. Just so tired now. How you doing, Coco? Man, you ought to see all the good stuff I've got. Look at this stuff. I've got plenty of stone. I went and chopped that tree the rest of the way down. And I come across this odd stuff. There's some sort of crystal looking things. I don't know what it is. We'll have to... Have to see what we can do with that. I found some copper and some tin. I know I can make some bronze. Uh, that'll help. So... Anyway... I think I'm fixing to take a nap, Coco. I'm so tired. I ate all my food earlier, so I had to do a little bit more with the food. I've got a few pieces of watermelon and what have you, but anyway, we'll worry about that later. Just so tired. Anyway, I I've got to go to sleep. Ah, much better, much, much better. You know something, Coco? Let me tell you a little bit about something. Mm, maybe how I got here. Maybe how I got in this tropical nightmare. I know this, it's, it's a little odd for me to, you know, not go outside and work. But I think I think I need to tell somebody. And, uh, well, anyway. Well, this is how I got here. I think while I'm telling the story, I'm going to make me some bread and, you know, smelt up this uh, tin and copper and stuff. But just listen to the story. Well, let's see. It all started whenever I ran away from home. Um, well, the reason why I ran away was because my father never really ever let me leave the farm. You know, whenever it was time to sell the goods or whatever, he would always take them and I'd always have to stay. You know, I, always, I knew there was more out there. And I always wanted to see it and experience it everything because it was just me and my father that lived there I never really remember having a mother whenever I'd ask my father about her he would just not say anything so I felt alone kind of so uh, well one day while my father's back was turned I just stole all of his traveling gear and and I ran away I uh I finally found a city. By the time I got there, I was really tired. I hadn't slept in days, and I was out of food. So I was getting—I was gonna get hungry soon. And whenever I finally got to the city, and I started trying to find a place to stay, I really, really hadn't thought about all that beforehand. I couldn't find any place, so I just. I didn't know what I was going to do, and apparently I looked pretty pitiful because a stranger approached me and said, hey, you know, I'll give you a place to stay and, you know, all the food you can eat if you'll return the favor by working on my cargo ship, 
And I was like, well, you know. And in my mind, I was thinking, I don't have a place to stay, and I'm out of food, so I can't really be picky about what I get. So I took the offer. Whenever we got back to the ship, he showed me around a little bit. He told me, since I looked so tired and everything, to go ahead and take the first shift of sleeping, and then he would, you know, let me steer the boat while he uh, while he slept. And I thought, you know, that was a pretty good deal. So uh, I went to sleep, and really the next thing I remember is waking up on this beach with a boat splintered up around me and some of the cargo chest laying around. That's the story of how I've ended up in this tropical nightmare. How'd you like that story? Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks to be mid, almost midday already. I know I've wasted part of the day messing around, doing all this other, but you know. It helps to talk about it sometimes. Not, you know, I miss home. I really do. But, you know, it, it helps to talk to you. Helps to tell somebody your story. Well, good thing is I've got some tin and some copper. And I know I can make bronze out of this. Let's see, but let's see if I can do anything with the bronze let's see here I'll just grab that keep the rest of it for a rainy day let's see if I can make any stronger tools out of the oh yeah that'll work how about oh yeah, we're running low on coal, too, Coco. Hmm. Well, that helps a lot. Um, let's see. Since it is already getting a little late in the door, oh, another watermelon. Let's make sure it's going to get us out here. see anything need to probably swap those out yeah well Coco I think I'm gonna um since we do have an, a lot of cobblestone I think I may outline our new house that's what I'm gonna go do now oh, oh you wanna go with me okay it's no problem come on um, what do you want the house to be? Or, well, I, I call it a house. How about a, we'll, we'll call it the shelter, because I really don't want to live here forever, Coco. I really don't. So what do you want it to be? Right here? This this good spot? Yeah, it's just as good as any to me. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do it here. How about I sit right there and watch me? All right. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just start right here. Just build us a little place. That, that. Okay, that's fine. Tell me when. About there? Okay. Well, let's see, how, how big have we made it? How big is this going to be? 2, Oh, ain't you got a good eye. Or three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Let's see here. That looks good to me too. Oh, that's gonna be plenty big enough. Um uh, let's see here. 
I really don't want sand floors either. I'm getting really sick of sand. So. I uh, don't have any more shovels. You know something? Let's go here. Since we know we can make some... Ah, uh, need some more sticks. Yeah. Alright. I'm <clears throat> starting to get a little hungry. Let's, let's eat the bread. Ah, nice. There we go, much better. Yeah. Much, much better. Whoa. That sounds a little different. Oh well. Maybe it's just settled different or something. Oh well. Anyway, let's get our floor put down here. Alright. Purified sand. I wonder what the difference between purified sand and regular sand is. Eh, oh well. Hopefully we got enough wood between here and what's in over there. It has to be different colors, then I'll have to change it. Oh, we ran out. Be right back, Coco. Ah, it's almost dark. See if we can get the... Ah, I think that should be enough. Let's see if we can get it, get at least the floor laid down. Yeah. What do you think, Coco? Think it'll be alright? I think so, too. Oh, yeah. We've got enough wood here. That looks nice. What do you think? Yeah, me too. Now, where do you want the door? What do you mean, just kind of phase through the wall? Nah, we can't do that. So we we want the door. Over here? Like this? Right here? Okay. That's fine. Don't imagine me. Let's put some light out here. I think it's about time for us to go in. What do you think? Yeah, me too. Alright. Let's go. I think we're going to call it the day too. It's getting dark, so... There's your home. Alrighty. We'll deal with all that later. It's time for sleep. Alright. Good night, Coco.